We have been fortunate through the years to work with some really talented breaststrokers. Our velocity meter technology has enabled us to understand the nuances of their breaststroke techniques, including the kick, the pull, and what happens in between them. One of the most valuable metrics that we now use in breaststroke is the average percentage of loss of the swimmer's velocity that occurs after the breaststroke kick but before the next pull is taken. This is an effective measurement of the swimmer's ability to streamline after the kick with the arms, head, body, legs, and feet. Using VM technology, we were able to compare that metric between two elite breaststrokers, American Mike Alexandrov and Croatian Nikola Obravac. What we discovered was an astounding difference between the two swimmers. We found that Nikola is losing an average of 38% of his velocity after the kicks. While Mike loses an average of 27% of his speed after the kicks. That is a significant difference. The question is why? Both swimmers do an excellent job of streamlining the front end of their breaststrokes with great head, arm, and body position. The difference is in how they finish their kicks. Nikola finishes his kick with the legs and feet hanging considerably lower in the water than Mike does. On the top green graph of Nico's VM study, he reaches a peak velocity of 2.11 meters per second just after his kick reaches its peak propulsion. In 0.16 seconds, his speed drops to 1.25 meters per second a 41% loss of velocity after this one kick, mainly because his legs and feet hang too low and for too long. On the green graph above in Mike's VM study, he reaches a peak velocity of 2.06 meters per second after his peak kick propulsion occurs. From there, by lifting his legs and pointing his toes better, his velocity drops to 1.63 meters per second. Mike loses only 21% of his speed after this kick. Between the kick and his pull, his VM curve is much flatter than Nicola's is. The end of the breaststroke kick is one of the five common places where we see the hanging feet causing a big drag problem. After studying hundreds of breaststrokers, we found that it is the back end, or the technique of finishing the kick, that is often the bigger cause of frontal drag compared to the way the swimmer streamlines in front. With our propulsion drag technology, we found that the feet hanging is one of the worst causes of increased frontal drag, increasing it by 41% compared to having the feet pointed. Great breaststrokers depend on having strong kicks. The last thing they want to do is lose that speed after working so hard to get it. Finish the breaststroke kick by lifting the legs close to the surface, keeping them straight, and by pointing the toes backwards. By using that technique, you will hold your speed better and develop a faster breaststroke swim.